Hey guys, I'm Renee and today we're going to be doing a side genie variation. So this is beginner to advanced depending on how far you want to lean down. Make sure you do a really good warm up to start with before attempting this trick. Um, so like with all the tricks, I'll show you what it looks like first and then I'll break it down. So, side genie. Um, you don't have to be able to invert to do this. I'll show you from the floor first because it's gonna be a little bit safer to start with. Um, so, if you, if you have done a genie before, you'll know the basic setup. Instead of both of our legs facing into each other, we're gonna have them out in a stag. So if you don't know what a stag is, um, come down onto the ground and turn your legs both in almost 90 degrees facing the same way, yeah? So in a genie, your feet are like this, and in this side genie, the other leg is completely turned out to the side, yeah? We only have one hand on as well. For all you really flexy and bendy people, you can reach over and try and reach that bottom leg um, to make it a little bit more advanced. So from the floor, we're going to hook on our top leg like a genie, yeah? And then we're actually gonna turn that to the side a bit. So this can be a little bit tricky because you might actually feel like that this leg is going to come off the pole. So we wanna try and bring that heel down, but not too far that you're gonna completely turn your foot off the pole, yeah? Um, like a normal genie as well, we're gonna bring our hips to the pole and instead of our bottom leg turning in or externally rotating, we're gonna turn it the other way, yeah? We're gonna bring the knee in towards um, the pole. So we're gonna hook on, yeah? We're gonna turn, and I'm gonna put a bit of a spin onto it from the ground. I keep this hand on to begin with, um, and then I'm gonna bring my other knee facing the ceiling. So if you get confused, just think both knees facing the same way. So I'm coming down, both knees facing the same way, yeah? From here, make sure that other leg is on the same side of the pole. So don't wrap it around here, otherwise you won't be able to let go after. Make sure it's on the same side, yeah? From here, if you feel comfortable, you can just hold on to like, like that, or if you want, you can bring your other arm off, yeah? I'll just spin myself a little bit more. Yeah, so beginner variation is just to take that hand off because it's our bottom hand that's on and our bottom leg is facing up, you are gonna be turned into the pole more, so you do need a little bit more flexibility to lean back in this one. Um, make sure you have a mat or some mattresses underneath or get a friend or family member to spot you if you need to. This does feel better a little bit higher up the pole. If you can't invert, you can do a couple side climbs to come up um, to hook on. But ideally, the best way to get into it is from an invert. So stepping through into a straddle, outside leg hooks, outside arm on top, yeah? Bottom, uh, bottom leg up, remember both knees facing in the same direction. If you need to, you can just keep this hand on and you can lean out like that. Yeah. If you have a mirror, make sure your legs are both facing the same way, especially this um, top leg that is not facing out, it's facing in. Yeah. From here, if you do want a different variation for both hands on, you can just straighten that top leg. Yeah. To come out, we're just pulling up and you're just going to slide out of it. Um, a, a few things that might go wrong with this is that your legs are not facing the same direction. So if you find that they're weird, make sure you like film yourself every time and have a look back on it. Um, and make sure the legs are facing directly the same way. So again, get down on the ground, turn into your stag position, and they should be exactly like that, except we're just facing, we're vertical when we do it. Bottom hand is in a cup grip as well, and you're gonna be thinking about pulling in. Cup grips work best when you're leaning away from the pole, yeah? So don't pull into the pole because the cup grip is not gonna help um, as much in that position, yeah? Um, with that bottom leg as well, you'll probably feel it's gonna be quite painful just um, 
on the sort of top of your shin or sorry, the top of your ankle there, that's, that's normal. If it's too painful, just try and bring it up onto the calf a little bit more um, and not onto the foot. So give it a go, um, video yourself and tag me or send me some videos and I can give you some tips.